five o'clock Wednesday, that's it, we're closed for at least four weeks. We knew it was coming. We were in the vain hope that they'd come to another arrangement or another agreement this morning, but they didn't. It's just horrible. Just genuinely sick. My stomach's been twisting and twisting and twisting. You know, we've not been eating, not sleeping, you know, it's because you're just you're worried. We're worried for us, for our business, we're worried. We've got 20 staff and we worry for them because the package that's on offer is not great. You know, 66% of their wages. Nah, it's not enough. This is the greatest city on the planet. Do you know what I mean? And, and we get so many people, so many visitors that come, they stay in the hotels, they drink in the pubs, they go to the restaurants, they go to the theatres, they go to the concerts, football. Yeah, it's crucifying it. Just stick to the rules, because the sooner everybody, we get a grip, then everybody goes back to normal. We all want to go, everybody wants normal. Everybody wants Christmas. Everybody wants Christmas. And unless everybody starts washing their hands and wearing a mask, then it's not going to happen, is it, for anybody? Um, and there'll be so many places like us uh, that won't open again, and so many jobs. And, and I think predominantly it's, it's young people who work in this industry. And what are they going to do instead? I've never been this stressed out. Um, I've been stressed before, but not, not to this level. This is a whole other... This is worse than last time. It'll just be a case of mothballing everything, really, and probably crying a little bit, um, and just hope that we see it through to the other side. We'll, we'll find a way through, of course we will. We have to. We're not, you know, you can't walk away, can you? That's, that's not how it works.